words are mine. These words are mine. These words are mine. Therefore, everyone who hears these words are mine and puts them into practice. Good afternoon, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us today. We have a lesson uh, for you uh, today on, uh, again, um, from 2 Timothy. Last week we learned how God's Word is so profitable to us that it equips us for every good work that He has for us, and it works in our lives in powerful ways. Well, today we're going to learn about how to apply that message. Uh, and so, But first we're going to do some worship and some singing. So uh, let's uh, close our eyes, bow our heads, and let's pray for today. Lord, thank you so much that you delight in our prayers, and Lord, you are near to us. Lord, you're closer than our very breath. And we thank you for your love, how you promised to never leave us nor forsake us. Pray, God, that you'd help us to diligently study your word uh, as uh, a worker who needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Pray you'd uh, also give us hearts of praise and worship today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, stand up at home. Get ready to worship.
halfway through this valley And my eyes just can't see a quick way out And it might seem life's got it out for me Like I'm in way too deep But I have found Every single circumstance I can place in greater hands I won't let my trouble bring me down Just cast my cares Won't sink into despair I won't find answers there Only doubt Every single circumstance I can face in greater hands God, I know you'll never let me down I've got joy down in my soul I'm gonna take it everywhere I No matter how I feel, gonna be my strength, be my truth, gonna light the way you see me through.
Pastor Jason up to the stage. Welcome back, boys and girls. And uh, like I said in the intro, we're going to be continuing our uh, study through 2 Timothy. And again, this is uh, for those who didn't watch last week. This is Paul writing to a young pastor. And the pastor's name is Timothy. And he's given him great instruction. Uh, excellent instruction. At the, at the end of Paul's life, he's writing these pastoral letters to younger pastors like, like, like Timothy, like Titus, uh, training them up to be better pastors, and more equipped to minister to the flock of God, to the people of God. And so uh, one of his instructions is actually found in chapter 2. It's really powerful. And so we're going to pick it up in verse 15, but first we're going to pray. So close your eyes and bow your heads and let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you uh, for your word. Thank you, Lord, for inspiring these letters, breathing out these letters uh, through the life of Paul, that, Lord, every word, every instruction is given by you. And, Lord, it is profitable for so many things that we can learn from and apply to our lives that we might be fully equipped for every good work you have for us. So, Lord, I pray you'd bless this message and the boys and girls that are watching and their families. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so you have your Bibles or your phone or tablet, whatever you're using to look up the Word today. Uh, turn to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. And it says this, it says, Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the Word of truth. So I know these are a lot of big words, uh, but he says be diligent. Two simple words, be diligent. The word there has the idea is to, in the original language, it means to steady. To steady a lot. To really dig in to, uh, to the Bible. So it says be, be diligent. The, the word also can be understood as here is explaining to, uh, to work hard in a systematic kind of way where you're, you have a plan, you have a purpose. Maybe you have a, uh, an intention that you're going to work hard at. So it could be for those who are homeschooling, you know, you have like a plan. You have like a curriculum you're going to follow. Or you, you have, okay, I need, to, I need to study this subject. And then I said I need to study this subject. I need to study this one. And you even have your curriculum planned out. You maybe even have what lessons you're going to cover per week. Well, we are to do the same with God's Word, but maybe even more intentionally. It says be diligent. So when, we're, when, we, when we want to study God's Word, we need to actually have a plan. Uh, so... Uh, I know a lot of us here at Horizon uh, follow like this this year through the, through the Bible. This is a plan. This is a, a diligent approach to studying or reading God's Word. So it's a Bible through the year. This is a good thing. There's a lot of other tools that you can use in order to you know, help you be diligent. And it says, so be diligent. That means to have a planned, purposeful approach to God's Word as you study it. And then when you do that, what happens there? It says, present yourself approved unto God. So we study God's Word as, as followers of Jesus, as, as ministers of, of the Gospel of Jesus Christ. We study His Word not to present ourselves to other people. No. Nope. It's really to present ourselves unto God. You see, He says that if we are His disciples, we will continue in His teachings. We will continue in His Word. So we're not to forsake studying His Word. We're actually to abide in Jesus day by day by reading the Bible. So boys and girls, a question for you. Have you read your Bible today? Uh, did you read it yesterday? Uh, did you read it the day before that? I would encourage you to take time to read your Bible, whether it's at night, whether it's in the morning, but to study your Bible, to read it. And not just to know the Bible stories, but to actually understand uh, the whole... The whole um, whole context of the Bible, the whole counsel of God's Word, that you begin to read it through. So I would encourage you, if you are in upper elementary, to start reading through the New Testament. And it might take you a while to get all the way through it, but just to read it. And if you have a question about something, something you don't understand, which is going to happen, ask your parents. Say, hey, what does this mean here? Uh, ask them, say, help me understand this. I don't, I'm reading it and I don't understand it. And you guys could have, you have family devotions. Uh, do you have a a weekly or a daily family devotion time. That would be so good. Dads, if you're watching, I would encourage you to make a family devotional plan where, okay, like for the next, I don't know, the next month, we're going to study through or read through 
uh, the Gospel of John as a family, or the Gospel of Matthew, uh, or maybe we're going to go through the book of Revelation, or, or something. Whatever, whatever you feel like would be appropriate for, you, for your age of kids, but you're going to read through the Bible together. And that's as a worker who does not need to be ashamed. So we, you know, we don't want to be ashamed before the Lord. And this has to do not with salvation, right? This has to do with being a diligent worker, a uh, servant of the Lord, a diligent pastor, or anyone who wants to minister to others. Here at Horizon, we're call, all called to, be, to minister to one another. We're all called to serve one another. And we don't want to be ashamed uh, at the end of our life that we really didn't rightly divide the Word of God. So, which means rightly dividing the Word of God means having good teaching and good doctrine. We don't want to be ashamed for teaching something that's wrong or it's inappropriate or maybe that's twisted in a certain way or, or maybe even you know, someone's not understanding what we're teaching. So boys and girls, the main message here is for you to simply read your Bible and then, and then even try to study it, try to understand. Uh, one thing I really love on Wednesday nights is we've reopened Awana. It is so much fun. I love seeing uh, you boys and girls uh, here at church, running through the church halls, having fun, memorizing and studying God's Word. That is a planned purposeful, diligent approach to, uh, to rightly dividing the Word of God. Because I want to give the kids uh, a great tool, gives families a great tool to study, memorize, and learn God's Word and have a biblical worldview for life. It's, just, it's excellent for that. But also, you know, if you're not coming to Awana yet or you're not comfortable coming to Awana due to COVID, then I encourage you to take half time on Wednesdays and have, have family devos. Get into the Word yourself and have a planned, purposeful approach of what you're going to do to uh, to disciple the kids, your own kids, and for kids for you, so that you are not ashamed before the Lord by not knowing the Bible, not knowing the teachings of Christ. Because um, this, you're rightly dividing the word of truth. So Timothy was exhorted as a young pastor who is ministering to others that he would rightly divide. That has the idea to, to teach correctly the, the word of God, to understand the doctrines and the teachings, the principles that are there to teach the people God's word diligently and rightly, because not all pastors do that. There are some churches that that wrongly divide the word of God, which is why it's so important that you yourself, as a family, boys and girls, parents, that you know the word of God, that you you've read it through from Genesis to Revelation, and not just once, but maybe many times. Uh, I was uh, I was a teenager when I first read through the Bible cover to cover, and. Uh, my, but my family, before that, we would read through the Bible uh, weekly. Uh, usually a couple times a week, we'd have family devos. Now, Wednesdays, we were at church, so we didn't do it on Wednesday nights. But on Mondays or Tuesdays, usually Fridays, we'd have family family night on Friday. Saturday, we'd read through the Bible before we go to church. Uh, Saturday night, before we go to church Sunday morning. And we, we, were week, we, we were several times, many times, in the Word of the family. And I look back on those as a time when it really I learned a lot from my mom and dad from them teaching me the Word of God. And that helped me as when I started in the ministry as a, as a young man in my early 20s, it helped me to rightly divide the Word of God because they are, had already instructed me in the things of the Lord. And so, boys and girls, so today I want to encourage you again, like every week, uh, to take time to study the Bible, to be diligent, have a plan, ha- have an approach, parents. Uh, what are you doing to disciple your kids in the Word of God? And a one is a great tool. Family devotions is a great tool. Uh, you know, all these things can be excellent. So, because we can't give off that responsibility to others. We ourselves need to be in the Word, and parents, uh, your kids also need to be in the Word. And we welcome you, welcome here on Wednesday nights for Awana, Sunday morning children's ministry. We use Answers in Genesis, which is a really meaty, strong uh, curriculum with apologetics and Christian worldview as well. So, great avenues, great tools to teach the kids the Word of God. Uh, but each one of us need to be diligent to present ourselves approved unto God, not unto others, but to Him. That we would be a diligent worker, right? Rightly dividing the word of truth. And so, are you working hard uh, at pursuing Jesus through being in the word and, and knowing good teaching, knowing good doctrine? And that way you won't be swept away with false teachings or, or things that are wrong. Uh, it's important that we know the word of God ourselves. So, Let's close today in a word of prayer, and, and we want to say thank you for watching these, and uh, we're, we're kind of monitoring how many people are watching, and uh, how many people are viewing these to see whether or not we continue these. We are now, again, doing in-person challenge ministry, 
and on Sunday mornings and also on Wednesday nights with Awana. So we welcome you to come join us at those two. So let's close in a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you so much uh, for uh, you inspiring Paul to write these exact words down, these precise words. Lord, I pray that you'd help each one of us, myself included, to be diligent, to study your word, to read it, and to apply it to my life, and that each one of us would do the same, that we would not be ashamed, uh, Lord, by not knowing the word as we should, uh, that we could rightly divide it uh, to know good teaching, know good doctrine, so that we can, uh, Lord, share that with others and also stand strong in this world. So I pray, Lord, you bless every family and every parent, boy and girl that's watching. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. God bless you guys. See you all next time.